This video will be about the IGN Heavy Cruiser line. So in my earlier video I uh, recommended you to grind as your first cruiser line the US Heavy Cruiser line. And this is an alternative for that. Both of the lines are great in a sense that uh, they teach you different basics. Um, the US Heavy Cruiser line teaches you how to use islands for cover and positioning. Uh, some of them are able to tank even some battleship shells, low caliber. And um, they have great utility in the form of long duration radar that is 10 kilometers from um, tier 8 onwards. And this line is placed a bit differently, it teaches you how to kite. So kiting is uh, typically when you move away from your opponent, especially when uh, they are pushing through the flank you are in and you are outnumbered, then you start kiting. These are great for kiting, that is the Zhao line. They have typically the good torpedoes, 10 km, that is the usual torpedo distance for uh, the Japanese ships and they have the torpedo arcs to the rear so when you are kiting away from the enemy you have a great opportunity to uh, torp them as they push you and these ships also come with the 203mm uh, uh, guns and the HE has pretty high fire chance so we are taking a look at the Myoko. So this is just a premium version of it. That is the tier seven. Uh, ah, sorry. Uh, yeah, the Myoko. And uh, this is a premium version of it. And for a ten point captain, or let's say. 11 points you will want increase the gears as the turrets uh, turn slowly then you want priority target then other in rush and concealment expert and as these ships usually have a, a weak rudder you might want to consider taking last stand because you are kiting away and often the enemies hit you to the aft of the ship and that tends to break your rudder quite a lot so last stand is a good idea then of course you will want demolition expert later on to increase your fire chance as these guys are HE spammer mostly AP is also good, but the HG is the main main thing. And of course, for the lower tier ships that don't have heal, super in intendant is useless. And a couple of patches ago, this, um, these ships received the submarine surveillance, which is six kilometers. That is nice again against uh, submarines. Then you have also a selection between defensive AA and Hydro, like you had in the US Heavy Cruiser line. And then you have an additional fighter. For the modifications, main armament modification one, then engine room protection helps with the rudder. Then aiming systems modification one helps with the dispersion a little bit. And then I would take steering gears as you are uh, 
not playing a static play style. You are on the move and um, often kiting. So rather shift is great. And um, you probably want to take the fire flags if you have them and detonation flag is probably a good idea as well. Of course, if you can afford it, the Sierra mic for some extra speed is nice. And as I said, the torpedoes are 10 kilometers and uh, they're allowed in 76 seconds on the Miyoko. They are quite on the slow side, but they hit hard. So they are kind of good also for area, area denial. Okay, let's let's go to a paddle and see what kind of matchmaking do we get. Of course, on tier seven, you often get uh, bottom tiered against tier nine ships, which is not that great. Okay, this time we managed to get the mid tier matchmaking. They do have a tier 8 um, CV. Amagi, North Carolina, Vladivostok are nasty battleships against us. Uh, Richelieu, not that much. Of course, we can show broadside to them in any case. A lot of. Uh, a lot of DDs and subs in this match. The IGN heavy cruisers tend to have quite okay concealment. Maybe, maybe not the Myrko that much, but but the others. Especially on the higher tiers, are quite nice, and the only weird duckling is the Mo Mogami at uh, tier eight, as it has a, a choice between the two o threes and one fifty fives, I think. So one for fun, one fifty fives, you probably want to take um, IFAG. Or you can play it as a normal heavy cruiser with the 203s as well. If you are riding the line a first time and you don't have high level captain, then it's probably a good idea to just use the 203s if you don't want to use uh, elite captain XP for respecking, as you won't be needing the IFHG on uh, tier 9, the Ibuki and tier 10. And similarly in the beginning you can play close support for the for your DD. Okay, we don't have any DDs here. Aviere is heading to sea and also the Icarus is spotted, so... We'll probably want to head that way. Oh, there is a Shinonome. Somehow missed missed that one. Well, we are getting now covered by this island from these battleships. Let's see if we can send some torpedoes. Try 
Why not the beach here? Because I managed. Is to get into cover, but I would, I would like to get rid of this island. Okay, nice. North Carolina seems to have stayed, stayed there behind that island. Hopefully, our see if we can spot the aviere. Carlos is doing just throwing his ship away. You can peek over the islands by double clicking the M key while you are aiming. Let's try to shoot the Vladivostok, he's down. Okay, he died. All our DDs have managed to kill themselves. I don't know why they are. they are the first to die always. We have the Aviere on B cap. They still have two DDs and we don't have any. So it's gonna be problematic. As we now we don't have any anyone who can cap. These guys are going to push through any minute. Okay, I managed to hit the aviere with my torpedoes. Got lucky. Yeah, he's dead. This is our Amagi. See if we can cap, take this cap. The CB will probably spot us. Yes, I could send tor some torpedoes. If the if the Richelieu decides to push in, 
Maybe we can get uh, Nuremberg's broadside. Richelia is pushing. This is where the good concealment of the IGN helps. Okay, Richelia seems to be reversing. Well, just torpid. Seems like this uh, tier 6 sub has been harassing our battleship for the whole game. The hybrid battleship. Yeah, now they are. Shinonome is probably there capping the. Used AP uh, HE there. Airborne. Well, he's dead now. Torpedoes dead ahead. Enemy submarine sunk. Let's at least kill the CV for some points. to port. Enemy aircraft carrier sunk. Hopefully we can bring down the North Call. Winning chance.
keep this island between him and us. I'm trying to get uh, another fire to the bow. It's light, more lightly armored anyway. Nice. Enemy battleship foundered. Now we need caps. Uh. And our CV needs to. Be careful with the Shinonome. Nebraska is not spotted. We still have five minutes, which is good. Detected. Battle ends in five minutes. Yeah, it's the Shinonome. Dead ahead. All stations requesting fire on the designated target. Torpedoes, direct front. Airborne! Airborne! Torpedoes, dead ahead. Enemy submarine sunk. Torpedoes to port. Nice. Okay, so that was the Miyoko. Pretty nice game. Confederate, double strike in the end, and a Kraken. We killed six ships, almost 100k damage. We were top in a mid tier match. I need to compliment these guys, they both played well. It seems that guy they got some uh, damage as well before he died. And looking at the enemy team, it looks like uh, the Shinonome and the sub did them most of the lifting. And Nuremberg did pretty well too. So I can recommend the IGN heavy cruisers for beginners. They teach you to how to kite. And I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time.